Hello, welcome to 1010 for Kids. Today I will show you a very easy trick that anyone can do. So all you need is a deck of animal cards. As you can see, there are animals. The thing about the deck, the number doesn't really matter. I think I have 25 cards, but there should be more than 10 cards at least for this trick to work. I mean, there's not really a limit. There could be 30, there could be 15, there could be 50. So it doesn't really matter. Anyways, the thing is there should be only one frog, one pig. As you can see, every card should be unique. There shouldn't be matching cards or the trick won't work. So I named this trick, Find My Pet. I made up a story about the student losing their pet. So their pet ran away and they are giving me a picture of their pet and I'm trying to find it. That's why I named it like that. Let's show you the trick now. All right, so there are cards as you can see. We will choose one student, they can volunteer or anything like that and we will tell the story I just told you. And then we will just make them pick a card, pick it, but don't show it to me. And then I will take the card back and I will lose the pet. So it's not there anymore, as you can see. And now, when I am searching for it, I will do this and it will appear on the top of the deck. So, here we go. Mm. Is it this one? No. Hmm. I wonder where it is. Let's try again. Mm. Is it this one? No. Hmm. I guess that doesn't really work, does it? So, I think I will do another trick here. So, I will just... Turn your pet's card and I will find it. Mm. Let's see if it turned. Mm. Where is it? Where is it? Oh, was it a bee? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, now you're asking how I did that. Let me show you. So, the thing about this trick is we just pick random free cards from the top. And then, as you can see, these cards are facing this way, but these cards will face this way. So it will look like it's a normal card deck, but the thing is, there are three turned cards in the end. So, what do we do with that? So, when we are doing this, we are making effort to not show these ones. So you can just hide it in there. That's why we need a lot of cards. Um, so that they wouldn't pick like the ones in the end they wouldn't see them instead they would focus on these ones and then they pick one for example it could be an elephant so when they are picking the elephant I tell them don't show me but you can show the classroom and while they're showing to the classroom as you can see while the deck was like this I turn it and nobody realizes it and then I just take that and since these are just turned and these are the same way I just put it in the deck now it may look completely lost but it isn't and then I'm just telling them mm, this is just to catch their attention like this and I know it's not the pig but they're like no it's not the pig and they're laughing and they're having fun and then I just do another one and then I say mm, this method doesn't really work but if I turn this one it's obvious that I'm cheating so we don't turn this one it stays like that and then I just put these back and just turn it again without them realizing and we're like I'm just gonna find it like that and then we just go through the cards and as you can see all of them are closed but the elephant is not and that's how I did it so it's really easy and really adaptable. It could be objects, it could be like find my furniture, maybe 
another thing so it could be used to teach a variety of things but I chose animals because kids love animals and it's easy to just find the pets and it's important to learn the animals so you can pick anything though but this one works well so thank you for watching I hope this was helpful see you bye